In Iran, under the law of Sharia, which is an Islam law thought by a Quran, it is punishable crime to be unveiled in public. The punishment of breaking such law includes getting jailed, fined, or even in the worst case, will be sentenced to death. The people of Iran have been dealing with this issue for centuries, where the government is taken over by the religion-related power holders. Women are treated badly in modern Middle Eastern countries. One of the countries that we will be focusing on is Iran, the Republic of Islam. While many other Iranian women choose to wear their hijab in Iran, 3.6 million of women were warned, fined, or arrested in, in an uh, inappropriate dress, dress codes. This source was an announcement made by Ahmadi Mogaddam, the military officer and the chef of police. This is due to the magnificent population of Iranian women wearing a loose hijab. The form of hijab is another cage or so-called issue where women are restricted from freedom of access to life, a life where women and men are on the same page, starting from the same life line and then running their journey of whatever they will reach at the end. The restriction here is the limitation that girls have access to. Girls do not have most of the rights where men in Iran would have. From the age of 7 to 9, little girls are forced to wear a scarf. They are forced to know that they are sexualized and the only way to show you are pure and loyal to Allah is by wearing a hijab. The hijab will be part of their children's identity over the course of the lifetime. The judgment of the public and society is a big deal for them. The act of claiming freedom in many subjects is something that needs, needs lots of courage. By, undressing, by understanding the idea, the movement of Iran, Iranian women, is something that they risk their lives and other lives on. Masih Ali Najab campaign began with a simple act of picture. It was a picture of her running in, the in a street in London. The caption, Feel the wind wading through my hair, brought much attention from Iranian people, both women and men. She created a Facebook page, Stealthy Freedom, which is all about choice, freedom, and dignity. She gained a lot of followers who are also the believers of freedom and choices. She claims that an online movement had turned into offline. What she refers to is that the movement is now had to be put in real action. Participants in the movement will recognize each other or identify each other in public. White Wednesday movement is a similar movement motivated from motivated by an individual young girl who took her hijab off in public and waved her white scarf. People call the White Wednesday protesters the Lonely Warriors. Another movement is called Men in Hijab. The movement is simply men wearing hijab or dressing as a woman, symbolizing the or, me, or meaning referring to as why men can't wear hijab then the the men supported the men supported movement is encouraging iranian men to participate in the feminist protest and encourage them for their rights the movement is created from the perspective of women in iran and is following the feminist rhetoric study of standpoint theory by nancy hartsock Masih's work is the work of showing her belief and act of justice from the polit politics of location rhetoric by Adarin Rich. Also subjected knowledge arose in this movement where people who are Muslim tend to criticize the movement by interpreting the act as anti-Muslim. This idea is false since the movement is just for the justification of human rights in individuals. The forced belief is not what country or an organism should put people in. Especially when it comes to religion, the forced 
of Islamic thought is wrong. Religion is supposed to be a choice, not a force. Every protester has their own sit situated knowledge since they have their own experience. They have seen many things and have their own story to tell and show. What they do is to open their Instagram ca and caption any capture any moment of what is going on in their surroundings and share it to the people or speak to the viewers. For Iranian people, social media is a field where, they, where their voice and opin opinions can be heard to the world. They seek freedom and gain freedom by sharing the real world situation. For this reason, social media is a threat to the country. The country tried to ban access to social media for many years. However, thanks to the technology, we have a shield, shield breaker that allows people to have access on banned sites or social media on, or any, any kind of online. Now people are using Instagram to share their voice, their freedom. The movement is now a big deal. Many young women stand up and show their freedom over their, over their body. They share the clips on Instagram. They send the video, evidence video, to Masih and fight for it. The protesters will be attacked and shouted or even in the worst case arrested. But they, do, but they will not stop. They will not stop until they teach people what is right. The activity is now a common movement in Iran. People encourage each other and recently many clips shows, shows how people are supporting and defending people with a voice. Videos show solidarity. Man, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. Therefore, pictures or selfies posted on social media is now more than just their identity, but it is their act of justifying corruptions in society, governmental laws, and many other subjugated knowledge related to Iran, and many other countries. The feminist movement is far powerful than it seems. The risk they take to per participate and support the movement is simply amazing and strong. The stealthy freedom movement is an ongoing movement, and it is a proof of how people can develop a strong bonding by pursuing to make justification of an idea be adapted to their society.